I'm back at Electrify America at the station outside of the Target uh, in Broomfield, Colorado. And we came here with about 30% state of charge. And we are presently charging at 62 kilowatts using the SeaTech CCS1 adapter with our Tesla, our 2012 Tesla Model S. Going inside the car, it shows 60 kilowatts being delivered, 203 miles per hour of charge, which is uh, reasonably fast. This is faster than we can get with our CHAdeMO uh, adapter, um, which tends to be limited to about 50 kilowatts. There may be others who've gotten more speed out of it, but I never have with ours. So we're going to give this about 10 minutes to see how it per, uh, sustains or decreases or increases in terms of charging speed. Uh, there's been some videos which say after about 10 minutes charging rates actually increase. This car at a supercharger will charge at uh, a maximum of 120 kilowatts because it has a 90 kilowatt hour battery uh, with all new cells and um, would sustain charge rates of up to 100 kilowatts uh, up to 50 percent of charge. Five minutes in, 35 percent charge, it's now increased to 63 kilowatts. Normally you don't see charge rates increase while charging. Uh, that seems to be a peculiarity of the SeaTech CCS1 to Tesla converter. Okay, for some reason at about seven minutes uh, it stopped the charge and we are at 38% of charge. So I'm not sure why it did this. I'm going to try reinitiating. Well, that's just an explanation of charging time and cost. That's not what we have. So it says we got 8 kilowatts. I'm going to try restarting things. All right, we're trying to reinitiate the charge. It is winding up again at 63 kilowatts. Trickling up to 64 for a moment. We'll see what happens. So after two minutes on the reconnection, as you can see we're now at 64 kilowatts and 40% at the charger, which according to the car is 62 kilowatts, and we've just hit 41 percent. Still, adding 209 miles of range per hour of charge is not exactly slow. Like Tesla superchargers, the actual chargers 
are not where the charge connector is. They're a little bit away. And there's where the charging points are on the car. So the system is saying that the car is requesting 65 kilowatts and it's delivering 64. So the communication through the CTEC adapter um, modifies what the car actually is capable of drawing. You add this six minutes to the previous roughly seven or eight minutes of the previous charge attempt and we get an idea of the capabilities of the CTEC adapter at least with this vintage uh, Tesla Model S. Um, this is reasonably good. Uh, it gives us some usable utility for when we want to travel outside of the Tesla supercharger network and still be able to produce uh, the ability to charge faster than level two. So I would say this is a reasonable accessory to buy if you're going to do that kind of traveling and you own a Tesla Model S. Thank you.